Evening, ladies and gentlemen, your Fresh TV Sports, FOE Extra, episode 20. Post lockdown two, we have a special podcast bringing in today. To my right, the real V10. What's going on, people? Back on the panel, yeah, double man. teaming on these guys today. With us guests today, we have Dom Vos. Dom, how are you, buddy? Good, thanks. Pleasure. Good. Pleasure. Mr. Gondo himself, the, ma- the man of the moment. How are you, What's how are you pal? What's happening? Mr. Laidback, Mr. Wicks. Wicks, how are you? Feeling good, bro. <laughs> ah, you feeling right? Well, right, gents, fa- firstly, thank you for your time. Thank you for taking time out of your evening to come and join us today and talk about your experiences from the pro game and certainly some of you down to Sunday League football. So today is just, a, just an open conversation about the game itself at the minute, where it is, your experiences in the game and where your head's at now with football. V, anything you would like to add? No, I'm just looking forward to a good conversation. I know a lot of these have been through a lot in football, so it's interesting to get different perspectives. So I'm sure they have a cool. lot of different ones. Perfect. So I think today what we do, we'll go, we'll go with the, 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 the man of the moment. We're going to go with Mr. Gondo first. Gondo, give us, give us your, first, your, your first memories of football. When did you start football? How did football start? Where did you start? Um, Saturday, Kiddies like, started at eight years old. Yep. Um... <coughs> I actually loved it back then, to be fair, because my sister used to take me all the time. Yeah. Every game, home Where, where was that? Can you remember who that was for? Uh, it's a little estate in Surrey called Roundshaw. <laughs> <laughs> you Funny know enough, my, my son plays for them now. Roundshaw Colts? Well, right, they're now SCR, but Roundshaw Colts, yeah. How old is he? So, you know, Alan Church. Of course I know Alan Church. So, my I son plays for Alan. Alan now. Yeah, oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, my son plays for Alan. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I started in Roundshaw Colts when yeah. I was like eight. Yeah. Doing well there and then... Ever since then, I just started playing football. Because yeah, he didn't he put a picture of you up the other day? Yeah, 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 when did you start taking football serious? When did football really start meaning something to you where you thought, you know what, I'm actually kind of good at this? I'll be honest with you, I'm not just saying this. That <laughs> I take football serious sometimes, but there's more There's more to it than football. I don't really take it serious because when you start feeling Even now? It, even now, it's like, I take it serious with yeah. being professional, but when it comes to like games and stuff like that, I just... Don't think about it too much and don't take it serious because you'll complicate things. Cool. So obviously starting at eight, if you if you fast forward, where where, where did you spend your youth career? Uh, Barnet. Barnet. What was that like? Uh, I enjoyed it to be fair, but travel was too far. Too much. Too far. Underground and that like hour forty from. Uh, how would you get into? How would you get into football? Because we had a, we had a, a pod with um with Pricey, D Mac and and um who else was running <clears> that day? Um, Pricey D Mac. Hibble. And Hibbo, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. Hibbo. And they were saying the same thing, like the travel, obviously Pricey being at Tottenham, d was at Arsenal, he's saying that the travel, especially travelling across nowadays, cross postcodes and cross boroughs. It's travelling from um, Sutton. To Barnet. To Barnet. Um, bus, train, mm-hmm. underground. Yeah. I used to bump the train all the time, I'll be honest, to be honest. <laughs> mm-hmm. Never used to I, pay I your was fare. Like, I was like, no, it wasn't even expenses like that still. Um Five days a week training, I was late three, four times a week, I'll be honest. Yeah. Bumping trains. The manager knew I was bumping trains, but did they did they do anything for you even though they knew they knew you were bumping trains? I think back then like Barnet was like a more like a community club. It wasn't really serious back then. Didn't really look after players. Cool. That's why players was in and out of Barnet, like cool. You know what I'm saying? Alright, we're gonna we're gonna pause you at Barnet. Dom. Yo. How are you, my brother? Good, thank you. Good, good, yeah, good. 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 Alright, cool. So let's talk about the football for you. When did you start? Um, same age, seven, eight. eight. Yeah, and was that in your Lambeth, right? You bought, yeah, born in Lambeth. Tulsa boys. Tulsa boys, well. Yeah, yeah. yeah what, what part? Was it? Dulwich Park. Dulwich Park. What was football like for you? For you then? When, when did you first start feeling? Was it just enjoyment? When was it your first football? You thought, you know what? I don't know. Maybe at that age, mm. you don't think maybe mm. I can make something. This normally it's the parent or someone else. Yeah. You know what? My, my, my child or this child can can make something of this. What sort of age was it for you? Because if you look at your CV, you have a mm. decent, a very decent CV to look mm. at. Even you you can type it. I've looked at some of your highlight reels on YouTube yeah. and you do you, you do bitch and name rings well. So for you, what age was it when you started thinking, you know what? 
this can be a career for me? Um, I'd probably say young, not like eight, nine, ten, young, more mm -hmm. like 14, 15. Like, I've, I've been single minded from, from about then to get to, to, get to what I want to get to. Um, when you say single-minded, is that yeah. you basically say, you know, me as an individual? Yeah, I'm going to go, yeah. Yeah, you're going to go and yeah, do Yeah, yeah, like I just said, like my, my dad, like, man, I dropped out of school at 15, and yeah. I, was, I went full-time at like year 10, year mm -hmm. 10, year 11 at West Ham. So, yeah. yeah, like I've always known what I've wanted to do and being single-minded to that, so. What, what yeah. age did you go into an academy? I think late. 14 maybe? 14. Was that with Fulham or was that with West, with West Ham? Uh, I think, yeah, so Fulham. So there's like Crystal Palace here and there, yeah. but it was like my, my coach at Sun League team was there. So I don't think I ever signed at Crystal Palace. Um, so Fulham, about, I think I signed at Fulham like 14, mm -hmm. like year nine. Year, year nine. nine, I don't know. What the, yeah, year yeah, nine. Four, yeah, 14, that's yeah. my daughter's age, 14. Yeah, yeah. year nine, um, Fulham. Um, left there. I went to West Ham at like. What, what was your best? What's your best memories of 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 academy football for you? Mm. Like sitting here now, looking back, what's your, what was your best memories? Um, I don't know, man. It's just football's like, like football's an enjoyable sport. Yeah. Like like being doing it every day. So I've trained full time since what? 40, well, that's 40, what so. I was gonna say. Maybe yeah. that that element of training full time and just playing, being yeah, able like, to play at that level at that standard, going yeah, like, around to different clubs. Nice. I think yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's nice. It's like. You know what I mean? You're not doing what the normal 40, 50, yeah. 6 year olds are doing. I think so, so it's nice, man. Go back to Owen Price. That's what Pricey was sort of saying. Yeah. Like, in school, I play for Tottenham sort of thing. Like, mm. it's a kid of his age to have that sort of stature. Yeah, like, I remember, so I was at Fulham and um, Fulham started like a school programme, like, where you would um, go to tr uh, school in the morning, train in the afternoon. So I was the first one at Fulham to, to start it. So I would go into school. Was, that, was it Coombe? Was it Coombe? Coombe, Coombe, yeah, Coombe yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I got kicked, out, got kicked out of school, yeah. went Coombe. to a centre, yeah. then they set that up. So, yeah, like I'd train, I mean, go to school, do a couple of lessons, yeah. then train. Yeah. You know what I mean, so it was, it was, it was nice, you know what I mean? Was, was football release? Obviously, you said you got kicked out of school and went to a centre. Was football your release, though? Was, was that when you were your most happiest? Was yeah, football, I just knew, like, like school, like, school, school, innit? Like, yeah. I, like, I knew... I'm a typical boy in it, like you know what I mean. Got kicked out fighting, yeah. just like yeah, of course. You know what I mean. So, and then when I was at Fulham um, doing a school, in it, it was like I couldn't concentrate. Cause I, I remember certain times I'd go to a lesson, and I'd be like, oh, "Miss, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's, it's, it's like it's, it's not for it. me. Yeah, yeah. like now I, I didn't want to be rude to her, mm -hmm. but I just couldn't. Yeah, I just couldn't do it, man. Okay, cool. Thank you very much, Mister <laughs> Mister Wiggs. How are you, my friend? Bless, bro. Bless. Good, good. Thank you for being here. Again, early, early memories. Where did it all start for you, bro? Football. Bruv, You've definitely start, always man? been the biggest one on your team, innit? Do you know what? This is the maddest thing, yeah? So, obviously, I started playing football around the same age, seven, eight. eight yeah. But my earliest memory of actually playing football was on a beach. Really? On holiday in Nigeria. Yeah. So, good job. <laughs> <laughs> so I and I got a, a cut on my knee yeah. do you get me so then from there I just remember obviously playing ball in the ends but I never actually played for a team when mm -hmm. I was younger I literally just played like knockouts and 66 yeah. in the ends do you get me because obviously African parents they move along with <laughs> and, and say mum I want to go and play for a football team do you get me and it cost they want you to obviously be a doctor or something or a lot mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying the typical so I never even played for a team and then uh pfft, literally I just played on the ends, man. Yeah. yeah. So 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 when did Brentford come into the equation? So pfft, the first team I played for um was uh Ch -ch -ch Kingstonian. So I've done a season there um as a striker. <laughs> Scored like 39 goals or something that season, or 40 goals. My brother Moses, he does um that comedy on Twitter and Instagram, that uh, the African Twitter, and that. yeah. So African Twitter, you know, the African, <laughs> like, the African, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So um, yeah, and then obviously me, me and him were together at Kingstonian. Yeah. He went Barnet. Um, I went Reading on trial for like six months. That was like, that was a learning experience for me because obviously that's the first like experience in academy football. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So. Um, 
there was things they were telling me to do and I didn't even understand what they were saying. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? So that was a learning experience. And mm -hmm. That summer I went Brentford and then, yeah. What was, what was life like at Brentford? It was good, you know. Um, yeah. Like, it was, it was similar to Barney. It wasn't actually an academy at the mm -hmm. start. It was a centre of excellence. So it weren't like, they didn't have a dome or anything kind of like yeah. that. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. They didn't have like, um, the first team had a, um, a training ground, but they didn't have lights. So we had to train somewhere else. Do you know what I mean? Okay. So we had to train far. So in that sense, it was kind of bad. But in terms of how they treated us, mm -hmm. um, it was good still. Do do you do you guys think? See now, if you go back to when you guys played in an academy, do you think that that same word academy is a completely different thing now to what it was? Does that make sense? So do you see, I think the word academy is branded so many. So when I was younger, mm. the word academy you played for a pro, pro teams youth team. Now you have academies all over the place. So I think the word. Do you think the word academy is branded around too too much? So academies aren't really. Academies, does that make sense? What are you saying? So when you think of the word academy, you're thinking more pro, elite. Pro. Yeah, elite, yeah. elite. Yeah, back yeah. in the day, yeah. it used to be if yeah. you're an academy, it's a pro team. Yeah, yeah but yeah, that, 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 I don't know how that's the only way I see it. That's what the, what, what yeah. I'm saying is nowadays, you, you're you, talking about if, like um, if a kid says to me, "Oh, yeah, I play academy football," I'm gonna ask him, "Oh, what team?" Well, what I'm saying is now you see a lot of you, pro lot direct of academy. Yeah, there you oh, go. Oh, nah. do, do you get what I'm that's saying? Not, so I'm not, even, not even on the disc. Like, I, 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 yeah, I, yeah. Well, it's added to the words added to it, but it's not in it. It's like, I wouldn't even say that's academy. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not. And that's what I mean by the word. Do, do you do you think it's slightly disrespectful? Like, if you think how hard you guys had to work to be in an academy and maintain being in an academy, do you think that word is branded around too much? I would say disrespectful. Yeah, that's just what it is. That's just what it is. Yeah, I think like if you know football, you. You yeah. just know it's not. Do you know? Academy, yeah, as well. Yeah. Like, on. Even like, obviously, when I first went to Brentford, the Centre of Excellence, yeah, yeah, they changed to an academy. Yeah. And instantly, you could see the, the difference. The, yeah. The, the, the yeah, change. You know what I mean? West Ham was academy. Yeah. Yeah, I remember like Brent. I remember there was loads of all these like lower league teams were Centre of Excellence. Yeah. yeah. And as I said, there was a you could tell the quality difference. Cool. Did you want to ask anything? Me? I didn't um, just on the academy front, um, when you was playing in the academy, was it? Because obviously, you know, you're playing in a squad and the percentage of players making it mm. is quite low. When you was young and you was playing in the academy, did that cross your mind? Or do you ever always think, OK, I'm going to make that transition through to pro. It's a given kind of thing. Bro, I knew I, in my head I was making it, fam. Like, Dom saying he dropped out of school 14, 15. Do you remember day releasing that? Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? On a Thursday. Like, bro, I went to school four days a week three days a week sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Youth cup trips. Do, 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 do you think at that age in the academy, you think about that straight away, actually, or do you just embrace the thing that you're at in the academy? Do you ever think, oh, I'm playing the academy, I'm going to go and play first team football? It depends on the or, individual, you, isn't it? What, what was it for you? Like, for me, I said, I said, for was me, that the process for you? Yeah, like, I, I feel, my thing was getting to the top. Like, yeah. My 14, 15, I knew what I was meant to be by 21, 22. Yeah. So you, you, had a, you had a plan? Yeah, I had a plan. Yeah. So, but remember, I've, the way I come up, the people, my loads my, older people I was around they was playing football at a certain level so mm -hmm. it was like I just yeah just single mindedness to what I want to get to but there's other kids that might play football for fun it's, you know what I mean it's, it just depends on the individual I feel I like I feel like when you're when you're built around like Dom said like your sort of family and the people yeah. the individuals you have and a lot of the olders have you broke the mic Wiggs no you sure close to, close to your mouth yeah <laughs> You need to come closer to your mouth, closer. Look. Cool. Yeah, I feel like as I was saying, um, when you're around the olders yeah. a lot, you get more of a mature mentality. Do, do, do you think the area you're from? So if you take Lambeth for instance, Lambeth's mm -hmm. always had an array of talent, but like it's always been a competitive place. So growing up in Lambeth, did you have people around you that had that gave you that competitive? factor so for instance, when you're going to play football in the ends, it's competitive. Mm. You're not going to, although it's that element of having fun. When you got people with that much ability in your area, mm. you don't want to lose. You don't want to go there and be dubbed as yeah, the, no, the, the, the shit one. Did that have any any influence on bringing you through or changing your mentality? Well, speak for myself. I do is like see the way I come with football. Yeah. It was sink or swimming. You got to be the best. So that's how I say. Like these don't know me. This mom's the best. Like that's yeah. not even on a like yeah. on a big time thing. I can't chat to me about it. This is my this is my thing. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I'm, I've been, like, all this summer football we've been doing. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was doing this 10, 12 years ago, 14, yeah. 15. I remember 
punch calling me at 15, 16 to go play, was it Pitts Lewisham? It's, it's not even a thing now. So run by school, Pitts Lewisham, we're playing yeah. against Fitz Halls yeah. and on third, and as I'm 15, 16, so sink or swim, going J- Jamie Lawrence's same age, yeah. Clinton Morrison, Campbell Rice, Bradley Johnson's. So that, like, for me, that's how I come up, innit? I, I can't really speak on anyone else, but that's how I come up. Cool. Gondo, obviously you said, Dom had a plan. He he was very strong-minded to think, I've gone and played in the academy, I, I want to go and be pro. We, we spoke earlier and you said that you you, you you like to play more from the enjoyment. So is your is your, is your mentality completely different to Dom's? How, how you look at football and how you want to progress through football? Obviously, um, everyone wants to progress. and Well, I, like I speak for myself, um, I'm serious about it, but I'm at a point where now I just want to enjoy it. Do you get what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And obviously I want to go play Prem, Champions League and all that. I'm still doing the best I can and trying, but I've got to the realisation where it's like, if it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. Obviously I'm going to die trying, but I'm just like a, not really a long-term sort of person. I'm, I'm a now. Do you know what I'm saying? I'll take you embra- control. Embrace of, the moment. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, do, 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 do you think that if, you, if when you think about the future, it, it applies more pressure? Do you feel the pressure a bit more? If you think long, in long term, are you, do you find it hard to plan and to reach your goals? I'll be honest, when I think when I think about the future, mm-hmm. I think about what if that don't happen? Mm-hmm. You know, I'm like, okay, cool, I've got this trial coming up. If that don't happen, what's next? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's just like I take time by time and whatever happens, happens. Cool. Wigs, come in Brentford. When, when, when was that moment when, or what was that moment? What was your first pro club? Brentford. It was Brentford, yeah? yeah. So talk, talk us through that moment when you knew you were going to get a pro. Uh, do you know what? I played my under 16 year, I played youth team the whole season. Yeah. So I was starting, so I knew I was going to get a scholar. I knew I was, was going to get a scholar in mm-hmm. year 10. Um, so when I was playing um, up at year 11, like, I just. I didn't get a pro at Brentford. Where was your first pro? I got a pro at um, Chesterfield. Chesterfield. What was that like, your first pro? Like, obviously, at the the time when, like, yeah, they want to they wanna sign you, like, you're like, shit, like, like, I've done it kind of thing. Like, not like I've made it, but, like, I'm a professional footballer. But that's what I was going to say. I think there's a difference between, I think a lot of people sign a pro and think they've made it. For me, signing a pro and playing is when you made it, right? Mm. So I think there's a there's a big difference between the expectation of signing a pro and when you sign it. There's a lot change when you sign it in terms of playing time and things like that. No, but this is or your thing. expectation of a pro was it what you thought it would be? No, but because the money that I got offered, it wasn't great. Okay. Do, you, do you get me? So obviously, like he's saying, like he just naturally sick at football. Like, do you know what I mean? Him is just enjoyment. For me, like. You gotta take everything that you you want to get your family out of. Do you get me, kind of thing. So for me, it was like I have to make it. Do you know what I'm saying? So was that an added pressure for you? Did that add pressure? One hundred percent. How do you think that affected you? Not not that much because I was good at football. Do you know okay. what I'm saying? So, um, but it was definitely added pressure. I remember speaking to you remember Bob, the the kit man. Oh yeah, black bulb, yeah. 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 So I remember speaking to him about it in the kit in the kit yeah. room one time. Mm-hmm. And he was like, bruv, just just enjoy football, bruv. You're young. Get me. Cool. Dom. Pro. Yeah. Let's talk let's let's talk the pro game now. Where, yeah. where was your first pro? Uh, West Ham. Pro at West Ham. What, what how old was you? Uh I signed it on my seventieth birthday. On on your actual birthday? Yeah. What, what was that feeling like for you? Um When when you sign a pro, mm. are, are you t- is it the case of there's a plan for you? So okay, you're gonna get your pro. This is what we have in line for you, and it did, did what they have in line for you. Marry up. Did it happen the way they say it would no, happen? Well, like I think every individual is different. Yeah. Um, Do you think that's what it's down to the individual? So yeah, you can I, have a plan, but it's down to the way you conduct yourself and play well, or train. No, well, yeah, of course that's not. But I mean, like me signing pro West Ham yeah. was like bollocks in the sense of like I just signed pro. It, there was no like it wasn't no special thing. Everyone signs a. a a, f- a first pro kind of thing. Yeah, okay. So it's like, there was no, like me signing pro wasn't like, they rate me so much or, as much as they did rate me, mm-hmm. it wasn't no, like loads of my teammates got pros. Me, Blair, Rob, mm-hmm. all got pros. Yeah. You know what I mean? So there wasn't a plan like, 
at West Ham, there was like I signed pro in it. Money went up a little bit. Okay. Got, got signed on fee, but there was no. It it didn't change much. But where, where did you go from from West Ham? Uh, I'd no club for a period of time, maybe three, three four months. Went Barnet for, went Barnet on the Edgar Davids. What was what was that like? What was it? Was that was that a, a, a major sticking point in signing for them? Edgar Davids. Um, no, I think what it was like I went there on trial or something. I went on trial, but I was like his first like personal signing because I think it might be like his first year or there or whatever. Yeah. I think it was January maybe. And um, but like I knew like the chairman that was making okay. signings, so I feel like like I was rumored to be his first personal mm-hmm. signing. But oh, what, what was that like? What was he like? What was that like playing for Edgar Davids? Well, he didn't play in it, but I had to call him Mister. So it's not that. <laughs> you know what I mean? He was a, he was a bit of a weirdo. Wasn't yeah, he? like but he's like he's big dog, isn't he? He's actually big. He's too big for Barnet. Yeah, that's like, yeah. like 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 don't get me wrong. He was like his mannerisms. He was difficult yeah. at times, but he's that's that's big. I food, think I watched an interview the other day around that, and he was saying like, "I'm fucking never get it. Like, well, like, I remember we had we was there at Barnet, and obviously Barnet's got a sick training ground in it, like yeah. the Hive, and um, I remember. We was in the pavilion because uh, Brazil was training at mm. our ground yeah. one time and um Neymar King. Yeah, yeah, what Neymar was it? We're um but we're not allowed out. Was you two together at Barnet? No. Edgar Dav was just out there chatting to Danny Alves, Rodadidio, <laughs> Neymar. <laughs> but we're looking at it, it's mad, but it's not because I'm not big I'm big food. Like <laughs> so yeah, he was too big for like for me at being nineteen, it was like it was it was, it was dead, it didn't waste the time, like it was a pointless signing. Mm-hmm. But Looking back at it, like he he was too big for Barnet to go there. Where, where did you enjoy your football the most? Where uh, where was the club you went to and you thought, you know what, I'm gonna settle here and you you in not settle but you yeah. enjoyed it. You well, I enjoyed Colchester. Yeah, that was my first like first team, first time experience. Yeah, like that was sick. That like, was a sick changing room. Um, like yeah, first it was the first team football that was sick. But football football was, was obviously up north at Wrexham. Like yeah, it was just geared for me to do. I played the right side of football. Ooh, yeah. I was doing well and yeah, man, like Rick here. So Rexham. Colchester was sick, like as a as a introduction to first team football. Yeah. Um, but in terms of getting my head down and cracking on was obviously Fans loved you at Rexham as well, innit? Yeah, me and Rexham yeah. got on. It was good yeah, time, Rexham, man. It was a good time, Rexham. Cool. Wigs. Wakey wakey, mate. Oh. Where, where where did you enjoy the, your 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 most first team football? What what was the most enjoyable for you and why? Um, probably Chesterfield. I didn't even play that much. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But it was just. Um, why, why do you think you didn't play? I think the first year the team was really good, mm-hmm. like really, really good. What playoffs? And I just wasn't good enough at the time. Um, more in in here, I didn't okay. understand the game enough. How how much is it not playing down to the player? Is that does that make sense? It depends on the situation every time, man. Yeah? Yeah, I think there's a basic level of, like, do the right things, work you hard, look at Ozil. hard. Ozil's not playing at the minute. But we know he's got bundles of ability, but he's not playing. Nah, that, play that's, under... just, that's just political. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's, 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 but that's but what I'm saying. How much is it down to the player? Well, just when you look at Ozil, it's, a pro, it, it's, hell, it's good that... It's not good, but it's like, you look at Ozil, it shows that that happens at the top level, yeah, all, yeah. all the way down to the bottom. The only difference is with Ozil is on 350 quid a week. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, right? So, yeah. so yeah. <laughs> you, you take it where, but, and he can go sideways. You, like, you, teams well, will I take f- him. I think today, where's he going? MLS. There you go. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what, though, I, I you know, feel, like it's, I feel yeah. like it's a flip of the coin type of thing. Yeah. I feel like it's 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 50 50. Luck and opportunity, that's what football is, man. Luck so so when, when was the point that this is open to all of you? You see, when, when you go and play pros, go on to have an ask you, yeah, we'll go back to you. When you come out of that and you start dropping down levels, when do you start thinking, you know what, is is, is, is football maybe for me? Or is is that even a question for you guys? No, it's, like, I felt like when I dropped out, it's like I took it for granted. Where was your pro? My first pro was Barnet. Was ba- Barnet, yeah? Yeah, Barnet. And then like when you drop out, and then you're chilling at home when on a Monday, Tuesday morning, mm. you should be at training full mm-hmm. time. Yeah. And then, you, and then you start yeah. realising, you're like, bro, I took that for granted. It went so quick. It went like yeah. that. And it's gone. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, and you start thinking, what I could have done better? Wish I trained better. Wish I'd done that better. W- was it tough on you lot personally? When you dropped down, I think, did you played, where did you play non-league? What clubs were you at non-league? 
white leaf, Kosh yeah. Hilton. So w- when you go from a pro set and a dropping down, was there ever a point where you think, how the fuck have I ended up here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is this, man? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's dead, man. It's dead, man. Bruv, no, there was one point <laughs> in a game last season, yeah. It, look, well, we were going to get on to this because you announced your retirement at one point. You were yeah. like, you are done. Uh, yeah, 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 you, reti- yeah, you retired from football, mm-hmm. yeah? And are we talking about this point now? No, it was a catalyst. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I was in the game and, like, the ball's, like, over on the right-hand side, so it's nowhere near me. But yeah. I'm just watching the game, just thinking to myself, this, this game's shit. The this? team I'm playing against is shit. My team's shit. So I must be shit. Do you know what I mean? And then I was just like, yeah, man. Am I allowed to ask what team that yeah. is? Oh, brother, it was Lewis. Oh. I can't remember what game we was playing, but... Like, there weren't, it wasn't... The, the players as so they were shit they weren't because there were some good players but dude you think someone that's down to the way you, you, you're you feeling playing. mentally though yeah yeah, it, it, yeah when you put it, say anything, you look at anything with a negative mindset you know how, you know how much of it do you have to put down to your own responsibility of you are where you no. are now because of you not anyone else or if I talk to myself I, I, I said I could look myself in the mirror and be comfortable with my effort levels my hunger towards the game of football I, I can't question mm-hmm. I'm not here to say I'm, say I'm perfect but I can't question it. anything I've done at a club for me to be here today and, and so you can look at yourself and say you know what I've I done everything I could 100% it don't, it don't make me sleep it, it does let me sleep at night okay but at the same time it doesn't because it rattles me because I think man's here like what the hell what, what is what is you see earlier you said um, you think football is luck and opportunity mm. like what what is some of the the luck you think you need I can tell you. You say in terms of like injuries. I think like he's injuries, or is it like getting the right manager? Like, like yeah, you know, yeah, all of that. Because you, know, like, you know, sometimes I think like, it's more that. I think yeah. it's the manager, bro. It's, it's definitely not just so the manager. Is, of, 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 of course, it is the manager. Of yeah. course, it's the manager. He picks the team. He picks the yeah, team. Yeah, so like, it, like 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 nepotism, all these things. Like, but what about because obviously you look when you train, you know how you perform against your fellow squad. And then, have you been in a situation thinking, I've yes. batted up training yeah, no, I, and I'm not in the it, team, bro? If, like, why? It's normal. If, that's every, that's every... Do you know what I'm saying? If you've never been in that situation, then you're not good at ball. Yeah. Yeah. You go in training, yeah, yeah. you rip it up. Yeah. You're not getting picked for five weeks. Yeah. yeah cause you, cause it's personal you, now. You, you, I think I'm pretty sure it comes just from as you grew up on, like, if you train well, you play in it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's really not that. It's, really, it's really not that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it's always been like that? Or do you think that's just a cliche in football? Train well, you play. Well, no, but it's, I think maybe as a, I'm going off just like my dad. Yeah. Mm. Twice hard, get half as much type thing. That's mm. how he showed me. So when you're growing, like you got, if you train well, like you, just, you know what I mean? That's your basic standard. If yeah. you don't, mm. so if you're not playing, you try to think you're not training well. And ah, cool. But what if that. you are training well and you're still not playing? You no, know why that but, is, but that's what I said. It's, 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 but that's what I say. What you have to do, I always say, is you have to train well, and then you can look yourself in the mirror and be cool. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's yeah, just my yeah. argument with it because, like, it's with with myself personally, when you give them a give them excuse, they're always gonna use it. Yeah. Use yeah. it. I feel like, but it must be players. it must say it, it must be hard to go continue if you're training full time as well. Imagine. Mm. Training it's five long. days a week. I think this week. is why people get people get fed up. How long do you carry and, on giving one hundred percent in training before you think this well, is what, deter- like, I'm deteriorating here? Yeah. Do you know what and I mean? then, and then so w- when you do start thinking like that, yeah. and you've trained really well for five weeks, uh, and you think or you question it, you're a bad egg, bro. Yeah, <laughs> you, 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 I, and I think that that's there's a lot of that is uh, sometimes. Let me say, I think I think that comes down to yeah. Obviously, we got to understand where we're from. Yeah, we've already got a label. Yeah. South yeah. London, do you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, yeah. Managers have said that. I'm not with you uh, Londoners. Like, what does that mean? Uh, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, then, yeah. hold on. But then, it's like, we go up there, let's say we go up north, whatever, go to these teams. And then we act a certain way. Yeah. First of all, you don't really know me on a personal level. You know I'm good at ball. You don't know me on a personal mm-hmm. level. Mm-hmm. You don't know why I, why I act a certain way, yeah. why I'm like this. Yeah. Second of all, when you don't pick me for the team and I act a certain way, all of a sudden, I'm a bad egg. Yeah, but it's just... Yeah. You don't understand my passion for football. You don't know where I've come from. This is the only thing we got. Yeah, you know, but then, you know what I'm saying? Then all of a sudden, I'm a bad egg. Do, do you think it's important yeah. for managers to know you got so to get to know the ki- and your personal situation, well, yeah, but to know, know the individual? Well, yeah, hundred percent. You got to you got to know someone to to understand. Like you got to know where they're coming from to, to really under understand you them. Understand. You know what I mean? Like mm. people go through trauma in it, so it's like yeah, of course. Mm. I, I think. Uh, 
I know personally from a coach, and I've never coached at, at obviously mm. at elite level, but I know even coaching and managing at the level mm. I'm managing now, I spend the majority of time on my phone. My battery dies mm. three times a day. Mm -hmm. And it's just that's just from players walking in the changing room and reading someone's body language. Mm. I know he's there's something wrong with him today. Mm. So knowing yeah, your players, I think, is massively but, important. But just, just to touch on what Gondo was saying about where you come from, it's like, did you find it hard to adapt to the co football culture? Do you, think a, a do, you, do you think there's do. like a football culture where it's like, oh, yeah, um, like oh. it's hard for people coming from maybe mm. where it depends on you in it like it depends on you in it like it really does depend on you mm. like for me like I've got a stigma but mm. then I, I think if you ask all my teammates mm. from the white boys black boys mm, 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 mm. Dom's cool Dom gets on with everyone yeah, yeah, but yeah. then probably to the management Mm. Ah, he's just he's, he's, with, he's with the brothers. Okay, you know, don't want to make, but you know, but like I could never say I couldn't think of a teammate that would say Dom keeps himself to himself in the sense of you know he don't really talk to us. I'm like, you know what I mean? But nah, they, this they, is the thing as well. Like even with you saying that, like when I when we was together at Dulwich, like yeah. I was thinking this guy's not what people or his stigma yeah. is. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Dom's cool, Because I think a lot of people is that they're quick to judge of what they see maybe on social media or that they don't know the individual, but everyone, regardless of people say, oh, like, don't judge a book by its cover. We do. As human beings, yeah, no, you, you, you do. Course, do. Everyone, yeah, everyone judges. I think it's like, look, everyone judges players, um, people. I think if you really, if you decide to continue that judgment, that's when the problem yeah, the, lies. Yeah. Look, it's like someone comes in, flipping, I don't know, he's, he's being skinny. Or he's a centre midfielder, he's gonna yeah, get run yeah. all over. Yeah, that's you yeah, think yeah, that. yeah, yeah, But yeah. then he's doing all the running. Like, so, so we all judge. But if you decide not to play a person because you think that, mm -hmm. that's where the problem lies. Because so everyone judges. It's human nature to judge, isn't it? But yeah. I think if you use that judgment to to see how you deal with them, I think that's where the problem lies. Nowadays, you're not gonna get opportunity. Um, because of the reputation you brought, well, I feel like managers nowadays should be like, let me see for myself. And do, not, do you think young people get, have more opportunity now or less opportunity? There's more. I then, say then, more. Then, then say for say, I'll be you're honest, still way young. Easier Dom, now. how old are you? Twenty seven. Twenty seven. So how hard you had to work as a youth to do, get? Do it is. Do it is. Like everyone works hard, yeah, but yeah. do it is. I know my ability level. Yeah. The ability. The, the do you think it's gone down from when you was young? Well, to it now? depends. Like. What, to become a flipping multi-millionaire? Fucking hell, yeah. Like, and it's, I'm not saying it's about money, but it's like, put in perspective, like, we play football to change fa family's life, yeah. it? like, so I've put all this graft in. I know how good I am. This fucking kid comes through. He's fucking played fucking two minutes of first team football. And now he's on 10 quid a week. So I don't know. This is, he ain't done much. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it, the criteria isn't high. As I said, I said all, all I said to young kids now, make sure you work hard. And you and, and you train hard. Yeah, and you should get through, bro. You're if you, you know, yeah, you know and what I mean. You don't your shit. Simple. Oh yeah, because yeah. you it's up to you how far you want to go, but you should get at but least you can make a living from that. Of not doing it. A, a okay. Football okay. Career. Yeah. Okay. Is that? Is that? You know what that is though? It, it's the power of social media now. Of course it is. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Look at that Chavi Simmons. You. Bro, yeah. he's yeah. going to be a football player. Yeah, yeah. little kid from I mean? Barca. Like he's, he's gone to PSG. Like little lad. Oh, with the, the, the uh, little the dread. Long hair. Yeah. Oh, he's got a knack deal. Who is the kid? He might not. Ever, he might not be good. Could you see him doing freestyles on Instagram? It's true. It's true. Do you know what I mean? Like, like, that kid you showed me the other day. Oh, what's his name? Yeah. They call him Arat or something. Arat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the little, the little Egyptian. Egyptian. Just puts him up one time. He's hench, you know. He's training every day, though. Yeah, but that's sick. Yeah, but yeah, but that's social media, not right. It's it's fake. It's not even, like you got to remember what I think when I was coming through, it wasn't a social media thing. Mm -hmm. Like I think we we're just getting our games recorded uh, and it's at West Ham. You had to come and watch you to know you as a player. So people yeah, are like, telling you as a player, yeah, come and watch it and like, see for the eyes of competitive You used to games. get DVDs and you used to go home. Like so all this analysis stuff was it was just coming in. You yeah. know what I mean? Now it's normal. Like kids put their stuff on the socials. Do you think stats are the journey yeah, now? Yeah, yeah do you it? think normal. stats? Do you, I know how you feel about stats. Yeah, I don't. I'm do not really stats are ruining the game. Um, what is you can put stats to f to favor anyone? Do you yeah. know what I mean? You can stats don't tell the whole story, do they? No, no, it's, no, it's no, done, no. But you can put stats to favor anyone in it. Like you know what I mean? You could have a stat that says, "Fucking who run two yards the quickest," mm. and and make it work Something, for you. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it it it, 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 stats, it does it? it does help people, but then yeah, also, you, you, you self no, it, it gets a bit silly though. Yeah. If you look at like two centre midfielders, yeah, for different teams. 
and one's got more of a passing stat than the other, mm. you're going to think, oh, he had the better game than him. You don't know the score of the game, but you're going to think that's something midfielder played better. Yeah. But their team might have had more possession, but he might have done what he needed to do. More effective work in the game. Oh, yeah, but that's, that's just stats, man. It's, just, it's, it's, it's like they say... Just bollocks. Just bollocks. Bollocks. <laughs> do you know what, right? I was just going to say, say, I'm watching Dom here now. And it's like, the more we talk about football, yeah, like, that right, is what you just said. Yeah, like football, everything yeah. you're saying is like, there's no answers. The answers are straightforward, but it's yeah. just bollocks, isn't it? It's do, like, it's just whatever. Do, but do you, do you feel football's very straightforward? It's a straight football with straightforward what? answers. Do you think people complicate it? Because yeah. I think you have a very black and white yeah. look, look on things. 100%. Because that's it, how, because yeah. like for me, everything's black and white. Obviously I get life. Everything's, we probably half live in the grey. Mm. But it is black and white. If mm. I do right by you, you should do right by me. Yeah. Like it's just so go to football, train well. You you should play. Yeah. If you don't make it make sense, but you don't make it make sense, oh. and this is mm -hmm. where you you'll lose your mind because now your people that might be your agent, your parents that they say why aren't you playing? They might say, they might start questioning that you're not putting it in. Yeah. Then you might start questioning that you're not putting mm -hmm. in. It turns you mad. Which it is black and white, but these managers are just weird, man. Cool. So I thought I think what 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 we might as well do is we we'll touch on the su Sunday league side of things. We have a very Lambeth room today. <laughs> let's talk. Not so much Dom. Dom so let's get Dom's thoughts first. Sunday league. We, we spoke briefly off camera uh, about it. Sunday league. Sunday league. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't play Sunday league, but you support it. Obviously, these yeah, are your the guys league, in the yeah, room. It's just Sunday league. Just yeah. asking the question: Who's the best in Sunday league? Who's the best in Sunday league? Yeah, no, not even not in the bias thing. I think, I'm pretty sure it is Lambeth. Okay, it is, cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's talk G G Gondo and Wiggs. What is what is last life? Talk to me about last life. What 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 made you want to come and play for Lambeth? Being in the environments you guys have played in, what made you think, oh, I want to go and play amateur football with with this group on a Sunday morning? I'll be what... real. I only went because of Windsor. <laughs> <laughs> what was your first game? Some, I'll be honest with you, some shitty. <laughs> bro, I'll, I'll be. Was real, it never like, losing? It no, it wasn't even that. It was right. some. It was some bollocks away in like Guildford or some stains or something. Oh, yeah, exactly. Some Harley Cup. No, no. no was, some bollocks was, team. Uh, bollocks sorry, bitch. Sorry, 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 <laughs> bollocks team. They were uh, honestly. It was like. What was the score? It's one nil. Peanut scored a corner. What? It was <laughs> rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> you was there. You Remember? played centre back with the gold predators. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. And talk about that game. Was it shit? Yeah, it was terrible. So, was but fun. let's talk. Let, let's talk about sort of the amateur side, Sunday League. What what made you want to come and play for Lambeth? What what what? what I was enjoying because I remember the first game we come to. Winger was in goal. Yeah, Barnhurst. Oh my days! And this, you didn't play. Yeah. You was. I think we had to take yeah. some clips out because Winge was like, "It's too early to be saying certain things." You called the Dons out on camera, didn't you? It was, it was that game. Yeah, yeah, but to be honest, why I start, why I started is because um, I wasn't enjoying football at Lewis, innit? So he was just like, "Right, come and come and play." Like he was not. Do you know what? Though, but that's what I was gonna sort of say is, and even not even a dis in a disrespect for when you come down, come down. When it gets to the point when you go, okay, I'm gonna go and play Sundays. Do you question whether you should play at all? That's just an open question. Did it, did it ever get to the point where you think, "Fuck me," and I'm at, at, this is where I'm playing now? And that's not a disrespect to anyone that plays Sunday League, mm -hmm. but playing at the, the the pinnacle, playing elite football. I think if you're not playing Saturday, just a Sunday, yeah. then maybe okay. you question yourself. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. But like I was doing well yeah. at the time and playing for Lambeth, so I wasn't like thinking, ah, oh, balls long, but definitely now that I only play Sundays. So, but last life, you lot, the first game I come, you had the feeling that you guys ooze confidence. It was like, we're the best. And that was before you lot had even really kicked a ball. When was the moment when you lot then really thought, you know what, we are better than everyone? Obviously you had the, the you, well, I think when you talk about Lambeth, you're always going to talk about the Dons. I think you're, it, it, regardless of the result last year, I think SC Dons are the biggest Sunday league team going in terms of stature, um, club and what they have. A, a Lambeth... Social media. Social, okay, if, if, if you want to, if, is that how you're going to define it? It's true though. Without social media, yeah. I'll be I'll be real. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not a hate or anything, and what they're Bro. doing on social media is is crazy. It's, yeah. it's, it's to a different level. I knew about SE Dons before I knew about Lambeth. Right, cool. So if you if Facts. if Lambeth are if, if Lambeth are the best, 
who, who, who were after Lambeth? In your lot's opinion. Oh, Gondo's going to tell me he doesn't know anyone. But I, 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 I don't know. I have to give it to SE Dons. Yeah? But I, I haven't seen anyone else in the league. I've only seen you know SE I mean? Dons. That's why, I, That's why I can't really yeah. say, but what I'm saying now is SE Dons. Would you put rising ballers in that category? I don't even... I've never seen them. No, I've never seen... No, nah, I, I wouldn't. You wouldn't? I haven't seen them. Yeah. I've seen their videos on YouTube and, and obviously when you see the best bits, but they didn't even win the first game in the London Cup. So maybe... Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Of course. And if you're saying you're up there and all that, you've got to cruise these games. What do you have to do to be up there with Lambeth? You just have to have better players than us. You have to have better players and your cohesion has to be mad. See us lot, we was kicking ball before this even started, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I already knew how this how he plays, do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He knows how I play, we link up mad. Do you know what I'm saying? So Did you guys at Lambeth look at the Sunday league team and think seen and go, you know what? We're just gonna create an empire and come and take everything. Like what what do, do you know how that started? Because Lambeth All Stars have been around for years. This is but this is the new look Lambeth. Yeah, they they had I the, keep looking the over older, here the older, I'm the, looking at uh, they had all the OGs and all that. Yeah, because Lambeth have been around from when yeah, they used yeah, to play. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm an old man. This now. is this is an enhanced thing now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, Winger's, Win- I like Winger's come and enhanced it all and, did, and, and brought all the new. Was you enjoying fo- how 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 many games you play for Lambeth? I've played about five or six. Do you enjoy it? Love it. Love it. Only because of the mandem. That's but, uh, why. Does that give you even more enjoyment back to football? Yeah. Has that made that, you love why, the game? That's why, that's why people come and play Sunday football. Mm-hmm. You They play on the Saturdays. Okay. It's, it's not really enjoyable sometimes. You know what I'm saying? You have them days. Then you come to Sunday and it's just pure mandem, pure vibes, pure banner. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? That's why people come and... It's uh, a release. Uh, uh, are you someone that has to be enjoying football to perform? No. No, you 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 can me, perform, yeah. me 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 personally, you know, I, I can perform under any circumstances. What about you, Wix? Do I have to what? Sorry, be enjoying it to perform. Nah, no. So I didn't enjoy it much last year, and I, I think I done all right last year. Cool. Be anything to add? Um, no. Yeah. Right, we're we're gonna talk about some social media stuff. I had a little dig into your Twitters today, a little scroll down just to see few tweets and I'm looking at a few tweets and thought okay let me take these tweets and ask them about <laughs> <laughs> them tweets and uh, what it meant at the time and what, what was the thought process behind and what did the tweet actually mean and we're going to start with Gondo hopefully I haven't added anyone <laughs> uh, do you know what to be fair I, I, I was quite surprised how humble the Twitter is after I saw your live yeah so yeah, like, like I said I've only just jumped on I've, yeah. I've had Twitter for long yeah but I haven't been tweeting anyone. I just go on there just to retweet stuff and right. and stuff like that. So do you know what, Gondo? I think was, I was looking at. Do you know what I think? I looked at. I was like, how football is going right now. I've never enjoyed it more, and that was six days ago. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Why? Why are you enjoying it so much now? Why are you playing so much with a smile I think on your face? This season. Saturday and you, Sunday, I've been. Sorry to cut you because when you look, we're talking about COVID season where it's been very stop, start, stop, start for a lot of individuals, a lot of people. It's like, this is fucking shit. This year's been shit. So for you to, to, to tweet that and you're enjoying it when a lot of people aren't, what 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 is what is it I about that? I haven't stopped due to COVID because <laughs> Whiteleaf season stopped and I was yeah. there. Yeah. Then I got a dual registration to Hampton in a yeah. conference. So. Yeah. And how's that been going? It's been, it's been going well, to be fair. How many games you played? Four or five. How many goals you scored? Three. Three. Where are you playing for them? Wide? Oh, uh, yeah, right wing. Cool. And that, how, how did that come about, that dual reg? Um, my manager at Whiteleaf mm-hmm. got in touch with the Hampton manager. Obviously, I knew the Hampton manager because he mm-hmm. took me on my first loan. Yeah. When I was at Barnet, 17, I went to Hendon on loan. Yeah. And he was a the manager then. So um, he knew about me. He knew what I could do. So he said, yeah. Cool. Tell him to come down. And you're enjoying it? Yeah, man. I'm, actually, I'm enjoying it. Game, when you training tomorrow? Yeah, training tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Game Saturday. Yes. Yeah, Do you Saturday. know you're playing? Slough. Slough. Think Slough. Home or away? Home. Will you start? Hopefully he's not watching. <laughs> I should be. <laughs> I should be. Cool, perfect. Dom. Cool. Had a little dig. You're, you're, you're quite active on the socials, on the Twitter. So I always mm. see you popping up a tweet. So picked up a tweet. 18th of November. It says, this year has been an absolute write-off. In yeah. the new year, I need to be playing full-time football again. Yeah. If not here, I need to be abroad. If yeah. I'm not playing full-time, I need to be at an elite club at least. So anyone yeah. that can help. Well, what was the football height in that? Because I, I, I get the feeling, Dom, oh, watching you and that, you, you, you're you a very good player. Mm. I get the feeling that you don't... Do you still love football? 
Mm, or have you know. fallen out of love with the game? I've definitely fallen out of love. I, said, I, was, I, was, I haven't enjoyed football for about five years. Okay, so, so when you so, tweeted that, what, what, what was the thought process? Like, like, this season, what's annoyed me off this season? Yeah. I've tried like this season yeah. and I've met some on arseholes this year. Yeah. Like annoyed that I even gave them the time of the time of day. Yeah. I did. It's like, I'm not being funny. If I'm signed at a club and it gets called off because it's not elite, that's fucking, that's for, like, you know what I mean? Like, like I haven't done all all of this, all this to, work, yeah. to, to, nah, man. So that's what it was. Yeah. Honestly, like, cause I can't, like, how the fuck am I? You know what I mean? Like, does it does that frustrate you? Do you ever look at players and think, fuck it, no, bro? Like, that football rattles me. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. have you ever played abroad? No, I've tried to. I've my fucking one of my clubs tried to sack me for training at a club abroad. Okay, like so, yeah, me and football, <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> me and football, ain't don't really get on, bud. Yeah, we so don't, at, yeah. at at a minute, you're, you're you're separated. You'd say at the minute from football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mentally, maybe the heart, maybe. Is, what what is would it take for you to come back? Would it take uh, an <sighs> offer like that from from? A level you're not coming back for any anything lower than elite level, would you but say? But then even then, it's just got to make sense because that is, it's, it really is long, bro. Like, because mm. you've got to jump through too much hurdles, man. And I've too much politics. Too yeah, much hurdles, I'm not. Yeah. If I feel I've earned enough credit to fucking not have to jump at, yeah. at, at you the don't conf- have to earn your stripes now. It's not like, like, like what, what? Not oh, like conference health. Yeah, like not even on the, not even on a big time yeah. conference health. I can't, mm. I can't get a, I can't play teams a games that fucking. Uh, I was no. at Kingstonian. I can't play games there. Yeah, managers are moving. Like, I'm moving bougie nowadays. Yeah, still. like what? they're moving. No, I'm moving like, mad what? bougie. Why man. do you think that is? Why are they moving bougie? So that's because, f- bro, it puts batteries in the back, man. I don't know, man. Do it, it is, I realize, think managers, yeah, they will get a player from a level, yeah, mm-hmm. and it feels good. It sounds good. Yeah, I, I bought in Gondo. I bought in Dom. I bought in, mm. and then pay him. Yeah, but he yeah, just yeah, bought yeah. them in. But like, for example, right, a team will bring say bring Gondo in, right? They know what type of player he is. Not what type of player he is. But this team is a team that don't play style football. They'll bring him in. Gondo does well. Yeah, you know what? He's not my type of player. But you knew that, but he still brought him in. Yeah. And because mm. we love football, we have that thought of, I know how good I am. Yeah. It don't matter if that they play that style of football. Mm-hmm. I'm good enough and I'm going to show that. Yeah. And I go in and do show that. And we can adapt to and it. And we can adapt to it. Yeah. But then you say, nah, he's not for me. But you knew that. Yeah. So yeah. don't go you're and... You're wasting time. You no, can't no. get time back. Time's yeah, you're wasting time. You know, it's the energy. You're, you're, yeah, yeah. Cause you're, you're breaking my heart. That's different. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? It's, it's you, true, that's, what it's, that's what the long short of it is. <laughs> but, what did you both say when he came? He said he feels that like he loved the game and the game didn't love him back. Yeah, yeah. yeah it is. Though. Yeah. I, I said what I was saying earlier. If this was a, a woman, uh, your, your friends that were told you to knock on the head a long time ago. Not even back. You knock on the head, bro. Cool. Thank you. Wigs. Had a little dig and you, you cut. There was a lot of talk about Arsenal. You an Arsenal fan? I'm lucky, man. Someone's got to support them, though, bro. It's, mm. it's hard, isn't it? That's why you look sad at the minute. Okay, cool. And it said one month left of the shit year, 2021. Nothing but movements. What are them movements? Can you reveal any excuses for us? What has 2021 got in store for you? What what is it holding for you? I don't even want to reveal too much because only fans. Obviously, no, no, no. <laughs> but um. <laughs> Uh, he's coming out of retirement hey, basically no um, <laughs> yeah. no but um, just um, do you know what I mean I don't want to reveal too much car there's evil eye everywhere do you know what I'm saying <laughs> no it's true, true. Just, it I'm, I'm just I'm just doing my team you me? cool perfect Viv anything to add not on that I thought we was going to um, go through and get some opinions on who like who's, who's, who would you say the hardest player you've played that's against that's what we're going to talk about I think it's key in, in this situation if you're going obviously in the pro setting Who's, mm. the, who, who's the hardest or best player you played against, Tom? Against, we'll say, first. Um, I, mean, I can't really think, man. Obviously, like... Like, I've never... Like, or played against... Or, dude, when I played pro, um, I've always played wide, so it would have to be a fullback kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Wide? Yeah, yeah, fuck like me. Speed thing. <laughs> um, wide? No, I've never... Like, no, no. No. Like, no. What about playing with? Who's the best player you played with? Um, there's a few. Um, in the in terms of pro, or in terms of pro, oh, top man, I can't really think. More like just in the ends, I played 
played with some of my better. Was that yeah. where you say you play with a better player? Because I said with, with Lambeth has got some serious. When you talk, when, like even the names you were dropping earlier, even now, when you talk about the talent that comes from Lambeth, would you say the best player you played with is in the ends? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Like, this, but it's not even like they know. Like yeah. the ends, like in the ends, you know who's a baller. Paul, yeah, who, but who like, was born yeah, to, we, yeah, like it's you, definitely you, ends, you, you know. just know, like, like uh, if you ask him for the top three, me for the top him, you, we'll we'll get at least two of the same names. Yeah, mm. yeah, because you, you know think, what I'm saying. Like, I don't think about being pro. Played, 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 played good players, but nothing like. Ah, uh, there is like maybe it's wrong. You can't gauge it, but I look at players. Player, you can't come play ball in the ends it's different you yeah. can't yeah so again it's not it, playing football in the end doesn't mean anything in terms of loving the side yeah. but in terms of like because i rate players off forget you score goals and all that i rate players off be, your touches little things you know mm-hmm. you're understanding that there's no one off top, top of my head i can't really think of players that i've played pro with more yeah. players from there what about friends. from the ends as you well, got fucking do you got Punch, boo card, dread. Top of my head, like my summer, my my Sunday, my my my, my uh, summer ball team, like yeah, I've played not not good players yeah, in the that, ends, man. Like the ends that day, yeah. I think he'd, uh, it's it was crazy just watching. I'm thinking, what the f- what kind of team is this, bro? And Where was that? Of play, it was that two in the Mitchum. Oh, that one. Uh, no, even, even, even at that. Midi, that's me. Well, 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 they're spending the spend yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah but but even that, that's what I'm saying, is they're saying that's media and those players that, that play. Yeah, but well, when you want to do it properly, like that's what I'm trying to say. Like, we've got, we two play summer football, like, the, the standard's very, very, very high. Aye. And again, if, like, for me, it gives me confidence that I know my level. Yeah. You know what I mean? But this is where I would say is where the standard's high. Like, when you play pro football, it's, it's different, man. You, you said something. Did you say earlier, Gondo, that you think it gets easier the higher you go? Is that how I'd, you feel? I'd, I haven't played at a high level, but it it looks it to be fair because these players at these elite levels, let's say they drop down to League Two or Conference, it gets it gets harder, a lot mm-hmm. harder. It's not football, then. Yeah, it's not yeah, football. It's okay. not football. Best player you've played with? I haven't even played at a high level. But, but um, it, just in terms, even in your playing career, the, to date, and I know you're young, best player you've played with? <laughs> if I'm looking at that, like, you're saying like the best player. I'll be, there's not a lot out there, only from the ends. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. My 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 best friend I grew up with, Mikel. Yeah, he's at Rover, he's at Rover now. now. He's at Rover now. Roundshot Colts, me and him. Yeah, that's I think that's the picture I see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah me and Mikel. And yeah, yeah, me and Mikel. Um, yeah, one of the one of the best. What like, about wingers. the best player you played against that like, you've gone up and thought, you know what, this is this is tough. This is a hard day in the office. Give you a bit of a run for your money. Not Gondor, no. <laughs> <laughs> he, knows. he knows. Nah. Um, nah. Um. Probably, probably like the 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 highest pro that I've played against was like when I was at Barnet. He played a behind closed doors game against Tottenham. Um. Tell a lie. We played QPR mm-hmm. behind closed doors like a thingy and um. Nico Cranshaw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you man remember him yeah dumb yeah footed, it? dumb, dumb. Sp- same question to you Wix. best player you played with uh, there's a few still um, I could base it off different things so ability wise I'd say this guy called Jay O'Shea some mm-hmm. Irish guy very mm-hmm. good um, what about what all about? round um, probably dread yeah um, but what about Monts? Montel Moore? He had Jerry has got better ability. Like he's got his feet are mad. Um, Monts yeah, is crazy. That's, that's, uh, Toughest saying. player you played against? Tish, uh, Dan Crowley, uh, uh, there was some guy at United. I think his name's Wilson, striker or something like that. James, uh, yeah, so James Wilson. He was, he was very good. James Wilson. If you if you had any advice, Don, for you, you've been you've been through it. I think you've been through mm. it from the top to the bottom. If you could give anyone young people advice, what would you give them? I know it's a lot different nowadays. I, I, I just say, I just I would say, make sure you make sure you train hard. Make sure you're the best, man. That's how I see it, man. Mm-hmm. Make sure you train hard. Make sure you're the best. Um, 
you know, just be be respectful. Do do the just do the bit. Do your extras. Yeah. Be polite. Do you, think, do you think that's that's key to sort of not? But I think a lot of people look at it browning, but you have to do extras. I always say to a lot of these kids now, I want to be pro. I want to be pro. And I say, how often, like how how often a week do you train twice? No, like when you say things, like, I think it's mad because I look at myself. That's like mandatory. Like yeah, like, basic. I I, I, I don't even see it like. You know that like, I think when like thing passed away, like Kobe Bryant and that, to talk about how hard he worked. I'm looking. I'm saying, don't worry, that's sick. But isn't that normal? Like mm, yeah. to, I don't know, innit? it. Like I had an argument with my brethren. No, I don't it. think it's normal to get up at four a.m. to do that. No, like, like, he, no, no. I I'm not saying the four, but I'm saying forget the four. I'm, I'm talking about extras, like just yeah. working hard. I'll chat to my brethren. Though, I think that's just a metric, though. Do you get uh, me? Waking up at four a.m. because you look at players that grew up in Africa and that they probably have to walk miles. Just to go and play, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, it's just yeah, another no. way but of measuring. I was chatting to my president the other day. You know I mean? He, um, like, he was ch- chatting, chatting, chatting. He's talking about, um, yeah, you know, these players are at this level and they're still working hard. And I'm saying, bruv, like, is that mad though? Like, so I think after Liverpool won the season last year, about two weeks later, he sent me a photo of, uh, what's his name, Wijnaldum on like a treadmill. And he, he mentioned me saying, look, already. And I'm saying, is that mad though? Like, but that's his occupation. Mm. Surely, that, that's like, like that's. Did yeah, you well, get it? Yeah. I remember. By, by the way, he's a multi-millionaire, so him having a treadmill in his house or whatever is flowers. <laughs> that's you know like I mean? having a kettle. When I was you, you know what I mean? Like, like buying a, um, a nutritionist, hiring a nutritionist. These are so I, I don't. I just think when you talk about extras and well, that's not that's normal. Like, mm-hmm. so I, I don't know, innit? I don't know. Maybe, maybe I said I think because the standard ain't higher, more social media now. Yeah. I think people get. Oh, after brownie points, do you know yeah. what I mean? I I I I I think it's normal going yeah. to do fucking off season work, flying abroad, and grafting. Like mm. I, I don't know, innit? I don't know, innit? I think it's like normal. why does that stuff have to be shown? Like, like why 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 does that mean he's doing so much? Like, it's normal, like yeah. I, I don't know, innit? I don't know. I could be wrong. Innit? V, did you want to add anything? No, man. No, man. I covered everything. Cool. Any if, questions if, that's gonna rattle people's? Is there anything you want to add? Because I feel like I feel like I've been sitting here, and you look like you want to get things off your chest, but you're being a bit laid back and placid. Is I think Mike you... said before the interview, didn't you, Mike? Oh. <laughs> He's gonna um, hmm. rattle a few feathers. Boy, I feel like there's there's managers and management teams out there that get a lot of credit, which partly is deserved, but I feel they do definitely do a lot of damage to players' careers and it doesn't get spoken about enough. Mm-hmm. And I, I feel like that's what I really got to say. That sounded very Definitely. Personal. I feel like there's definitely... Number, and you, okay. you, you know what I'm talking about. It's true. People, you lot know what I'm talking about. Do you know what I'm saying? And like, don't get me wrong, they've done a lot for a lot of players' careers and stuff and... Definitely, do you know what I'm saying? I'm not taking that away from them, but I feel no one really speaks on the other side. So when you say ruin careers, what, what are we talking about here, Howard? <sighs> one manager will ruin your whole career. You go to a team, you don't play, mm. yeah. That manager after that will have another job. He will get mm. other You as an individual, mm. you could be on a one-year contract. If you don't, you're done. Like, you're for done. example, so I, had, you, just... I had Dean Saunders, yeah? I went and asked him, can I go out on loan? And he said to me, no, I'll let you know when, I'm ready, when you're ready. But I went on loan the season before under Paul Cook. He wanted me to go out and play football. You're not playing in the first team at the moment. Go and play football. Dean Saunders, no. Never never touched the bench again. Never got a chance in ever. I'm asking you that I want to go and play. So it feels personal from your. I'm just saying, like they just don't care. Must, long must they, they just they don't. No, I don't. They just don't care. Like, as long as they don't care, like. But like, if you don't care, and someone comes to you say, oh, "Can I go on loan?" If you don't care, you just say, "Go." Power then. trip, though, isn't it? Power yeah, but trip. yeah, but like, I can't I can't name any names or at any managers or whatever because I'm still trying to do a thing in football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but so I tweeted the other day that football's rigged. Yeah. And then I again I tweeted football's opinions. Nothing more, nothing less. Mm-hmm. That is what football is about. Yeah. Opinions. If a manager's having you, he's going to play you. Mm-hmm. Some manager's going to give you an opportunity. Some managers won't even let, let you get an opportunity. Mm-hmm. But then again, like Dom said, they're going to get another job. Yeah, really. We, we, we get labelled. Mm-hmm. We're done. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah it's a it, short it, career, yeah. innit? A management career is very long, innit? Like a short football yeah. career. Like, like, it's like, I've I've been signed by a team and not played and pl- not played a game of football. 
<laughs> like, you could, you could, you could, you could, uh, turn, turn off your deal, but no, I would have low, but I they signed me. I didn't play a game. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, like now on paper, it could be seen as Dom's jumped a couple levels. He's not good enough. Da 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 da. But reality, but, yeah, but bro, you've told me that managers have said to you, "Oh, yeah. the the players aren't as good as you." So yeah, that's I've, look, I've been at a team. I've been, I've been, I've been at a team. I'm training. And um, like man, said like, Dom, like you're the best player in the team. You should be playing, but the team's not good enough for to you play to play how f- you want to play. Yeah, yeah, the team's not good enough for you to play. So I'm saying as I hear that, but I don't hear that. Like, like that's crazy. But the thing is, he's not dissing me, but you're affecting me because. I need to play football. Yeah. Was there a part of you that thought he's just lying to make me feel no. better no. about myself? No, because no, because if you watch me, because it, it don't it don't make no sense. No, if you're was, better than everyone else, you should be yeah, the first person on the course, team sheet. But but now I don't get from a point of view of maybe being a manager, you gotta do the best for the team. But what I'm trying to say, that don't do anything for me as an individual. Yeah, so it's yeah, like yeah. I'm basically being a victim of my. You. ability. What's more important then in that fact? If you're better than everyone. Then surely you compensate you in the team. Well, you play a system around you. I yeah, you think, I think take the best one back and compensate for the other but it ten depends, players. But it depends how. But this one, I mean, it depends how the manager see. Because yeah, I, I, I'm a, I, I want to play the right way of football. Yeah. The want to play football, so that I'm never going to say that to to a player. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. but if he don't if he don't see the football like that, so that's why it's game of opinions, mm-hmm. and he's in charge at the given time. So it's fucked. It's fucked. Would, I remember, you, would, you, would you become a manager? Does coaching does, co- does yeah, that appeal yeah, to you? Yeah, yes and no. Like I enjoy the thought of it. Mm-hmm. Um, but again, it's not. I do. My, I'm doing my coaching badges now. Um, yeah. So yeah, but again, that's not going to happen right now. Yeah. You, know, you know what I mean? Yeah, because I, I think I'd like to. The last few years in the non-league, the managers have come across and how they do things. I think. I don't know if you've actually done badges. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. If you get a yeah. good manager non-league. You'll like it. Yeah. If you don't, you're having problems. What you're is having, a good you're manager having, though? You're having you're having two problems. You're having them paying you on time. Uh, yeah. And you're not playing. That's just two problems you're gonna have in non-league. I don't know for you, man, but uh, I don't think not like for me coming from being full time pro to the non-league. But like, there is I don't I just think why are you in big time? Like, I know how what players want and how things should be run. Yeah. And this ain't it okay so it's, it's the transition from pro environment yeah to, but then to yeah so that's what i say like stay mm-hmm. as high as you can for as long as you can because yeah. Yeah. That's the process. lower league stuff is it gets, bollocks it's, yeah it's bo- do you reckon it's a case of like bollocks when you're in a pro environment the management team have more of a duty of care for you yeah, as a person individual and in non league you're kind of disposable very I just yeah. think it's, it's run obviously it's run better it's just run yeah, better. It's yeah, like, yeah. like the whole the environment standards are higher yeah do you get what i'm saying standards are higher see like being on time yeah. normal like yeah, yeah, yeah. like see you go low level it, it gets all ropey I get you a, one player might get fined for it another player might not yeah but I get you in your pro like league it's like it's mandatory yeah, you, do you know what I mean you can't mm-hmm. get away with you can't get away with like, that, a little thing like non-league is for it's not quite the same but like you would do a, a Christmas do yeah, yeah. If people people turn up. Some people don't turn up. In oh league. yeah, it's it's, man, it's like, mandatory man, yeah. in league okay, football. Okay, and if you don't, if you don't, it's you're paying. Yeah, yeah, two fifty. Yeah, yeah, and in non-league, yeah. it's one rule for one player, one rule yeah. for another. Yeah, it's, it's like thing. like a man will but, just lie and, and say, "Oh, I got none yeah. funeral." And this yeah. way, non-league's mad. And this way, it's, it's and that's why I say, if you're if you're from a if you're from a pro background, you got to avoid the non-league like the plague because. Did you realize that as soon as you jumped in there, as soon as you got into non-league, did you realize right this isn't for me yeah like I, I about myself all the time like this is dead like and it's like now things i would say it's like there's no point saying it because i'm basically the mad one because yeah, i'm yeah, the only yeah, one yeah, that yeah, thinks yeah. like this okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. you lot have been like for me i'm not getting conditioned to be a non-league person i don't i don't because okay. i don't believe there's a non-league way of playing mm. or thinking yeah. You know what I mean? Being a footballer is a standard. So well, I just crack on when I'm in. Cause okay. it, it's is that, that kind of what, when it becomes about what what you can get out of it, like i.e. money? Like, okay, they're going to yeah, pay like, that's what I'm like, if, if you're playing non league, try and get some money out of it at least, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. um, you know, do you know what, bro? I, I would say it depends, man. It depends what you're trying to get out of it and the situation that you're in. Do you know what I mean? I feel like if you're playing, you're doing well. Then do you know what I mean. I, I don't think money is a factor. Do you know what I mean? I'd say 
get as much exposure no, it, as you can. It, it depends yeah. what you're playing for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah, you're yeah, playing yeah. to get back in the pro game, then you make certain sacrifices in non-league to get back. But mm. if you're happy just playing there, you pick up your peas, you mm. go get a part-time yeah, job. Yeah, but it's, as you said, you've got to find the right manager in non-league. Yeah, that's and the hardest and thing. That's the hardest thing. And he understands what you're on. Yeah. But you do not. It's, Cause it's, the, a, it's the, a business, man. It's just, it's just course, a business, man. like you know what I mean, like backhanders, yeah. you know, just pawns on the chessboard, bro. Because managers but are they, good at this, saying the same, the, the right thing at the right time, and the managers chat shit. And what you don't understand <laughs> is, I think I'm um, taking this in, you know, I'm taking this <laughs> in. Yeah, yeah like, but you guys, like, you, you're coming from. They understand that, you, do they? You're coming from like we're all from the ends. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't know everyone's like family situation, but I, I think we, our parents have probably all got debts, mortgage ain't paid for. You know what I mean? Everyone, brothers, sisters. You know, ever yeah. You know, so I look at football as. Remember, I dropped out of school, no GCSEs. So I knew, I know I can do it from football because I'm good enough and I work hard enough. Mm. If I don't do it from football now, where does where does it leave me? You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Because I can't go be the the a nine to five. And that's not a, this to a nine to no, five, man. So, but you're just because you don't want to deal with me, right? You're gonna stop my my dream, mm-hmm. and this is where it is fucked because they actually don't care. Yeah, that's, no, that, that's that, one that, number. That's one man. Exactly. That's yeah. the thing. These managers, See, they don't care about you. They don't they care don't about care. your well being. They don't care about your. F- Football out like yourself outside of football. This mm-hmm. is everything. You know what I'm saying? This is everything. Like this is this is all we have. Like what we've come from. Yeah. Mm. Bailiffs knocking at man's door. All yeah. like, so, so trust ha- me, all that they they don't they, they don't, don't care. They, mm. they don't know us. Mm-hmm. So if you understand us, like it's just a bit more better. I think nowadays they should do a lot of that, like more mentoring for the young youths coming. Yeah, 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 but yeah. what what, the, what um, difference we'll do now is though these fucking if if if, we, uh, if a young youth put was as as good as me and as half as much work as me, you'd be a multi-millionaire. Easy. So, I don't know. Just work hard and be yeah. half good and you should get through. Do you know yeah. that, well, That's how I see it. That's literally how I see this thing, bro. Also, like, everyone's, there's so many people that have been in the position that they're in now mm-hmm. at clubs, do you know what I'm saying? That are in non-league now, like he said, going through all the life problems that you go through. So, also, save your money, bruv. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah, it's true. Yeah, it, you don't know. Uh, it it dude, can happen like, to the, anyone. The rainy day you know thing, I mean? like, dude, is it, it's, a, it's a real thing, but fuck me, bro. It shouldn't happen. Like, yeah. wait, wait. Like, I, me, I'm 27, yeah? Me being here at 27, fuck, you know, I, yeah, I can sit back and think, yeah, I shouldn't have spent money here and there, but fuck, this shouldn't have happened. Like, in the sense of, this just because of you basically said no. So now, you know what I mean? Yeah, I get, I get what you're saying. You've got to save your money, but fuck me, bro. Mm. Like, this game's in someone else's hand. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? You can't do anything about it. As but much while as, it's in someone's hands, someone else's hands, you know what I'm saying? You yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not disputing that. But yeah. what I'm trying to say is, like, I'm 20, so I should still be actively the, playing you football. Be in the game. In the Some game sort still. of somewhere. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Comfortable. Mm. Comfortable mm. Is, is my whole point. Mm. So that's why I say it's fuck. Like, you're right. Mm. On a live, save your money. Look, mm. COVID's hit. Like, everyone's gone. Mm. But fuck me, my like, bruv. Man, 27. Man can't, man can't get a fucking job at fucking a conference south club mm. for fucking 200 pound a week. Oh, Are you taking a piss out of me? F- football mm. is, on, bruv, is. man. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that's why I say, bruv, I, I, just make sure you're good enough. You work, you work yeah. hard enough. And then you, you might be all right, bruv. That's how I Ooh. see this game, bruv. Is there anything else you boys would like to add? Well, anything? If you, got, if you got any questions. Me? Any questions for, for Have you got any... <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to say? Because I can feel it. No, I feel like um, before the interview started, we were talking about rivalry in, in our league. And, this, and this, when this, you say yeah, our league, yeah, you're talking yeah. about the ODBSFL. ODBSFL. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, f- I feel like this is what the people want to hear, you know. I'm not I'm not too much in the Sunday League team, mm-hmm. but I will speak for a lot of people that that don't have the balls yeah. Yeah. to say certain things. Like, and they are what? What is it you like, want I, to I, I'm, I'm here to make it a bit heaty, to make it, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't <laughs> brought me on there yeah, yeah, because yeah. I'm, 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 yeah. I'm not a bottle job. Cool. You know what I'm saying? So what are your thoughts on the ODBSFL? I'll be on, like, like what, I said. the league? Yeah, yeah, that's that's a Lambeth league. I'll I'll be honest with you. There's only like three good teams and the rest of shit. I'd Who's the three good three teams? teams? Yeah, Lambeth. Yeah, we'll win it. We ain't lost a game this season. Would you go? Will you go unbeaten? And 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 I don't Definitely. even play in some of the games. Yeah, huh? definitely. <laughs> You'll go unbeaten the whole <laughs> season. Hundred percent. Easy, easy. Has a team ever done that? Ken Ken and Will. No, no. Did Ken, didn't they go unbeaten? Bickley. Okay. Bickley. Yeah, I think yeah. 
I'm beating so Ke- Ke- oh, so they're gonna so Lambo are gonna win it. SE Dons will come second. Yep. And third, I think like I don't know what could be like a like a Kenningwell or Rocker or Kamikaze or Kamikaze. So Kamikaze. I say that all the time. Like, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, that. It, so really, what that, you're saying? There's only two good teams. That that's it. Really, what you're saying? And I'm like yet to be proven wrong. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? Who will win the London Cup? Lambeth. Again. Lambeth. Like I'm even surprised that that Gower's team made it there. Like you said that. I can't even <laughs> lie to you. Like to beat us, yeah, you gotta catch us on a bad day, bruv. Like a bad day. And a bad day is the same day that never losing caught you, yeah. That was a bad pitch bad though. Day. I never played in that game. I ain't lost. I played. I played. I played. I played. And I. I played. And 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 it was a fact store. It was. It was a bad. It was a bad game. Like well done to them. They beat us. Of course. If they caught us. This season, mm-hmm. forget about it. It's curtains. I'll be real. Well, you got them in a the cup final, innit? We got them in a the cup final. When is that being replayed? Yeah. Did we, have we got a date? No, no. no date yet, no? Like, what's it? We played, Um, you lot come to the game, Brixton. Yeah. All that. My man, what's his name? Lucky. He weren't lucky that day, was he? <laughs> God's sake. What did he say? He said you needed Messi to beat us. Do you know what? No, on a level though, yeah. Come like, you if Messi you think that about day? it, because you got two, right? God, oh, no. they call you God, no, Messi. Yeah? If you think about oh, it, no. <laughs> if you think about it, any team that catches us on a half decent surface mm-hmm. isn't beating us. The only way you're beating us is on a shit pitch. Was St. Joe's a bad pitch, or was it a bad day? Bad day. Do you know what I mean? Like, how, how important? Sir, these lot don't take it serious. I'm the only guy. Me and Will take it This guy, that's how we... Winja, I spoke to him yeah, the day yeah. after the St. Joe... No, I was in the car with him the day after the St. Joe's day or two days after. And it hurt him. You can see it hurt. But do you know what? I think, how important was it to get that video out? The St. Joe's Very important. Think that was important the, for you guys. I think I, I think we should have released it sooner though. I don't know why, why? we released it. Because I just don't... Why are you releasing it six months later? Because people, because even when Strapsy t- tweeted you that, I was thinking, do you know what? That's that's a that's a that's a that's a big because people were oh. saying that oh you can't like accept your losses and all that. Yeah, was like, that was that the case? Was it hard to release it because of what it was? Hey, look, look, look. Hey, be honest. Tell them the truth. I don't know why. Like, why did it take long? If you didn't want to do it no, because we, we lost the game. Really, no, I remember the, the, the footage was horrible. I don't think, yeah, oh, back. Now, you can see the difference. I think now we're, we're getting better with oh, the camera thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, okay, cool. Listen, all, all, all the best team lose, isn't it? Cool, I think. Have we, have we come to, to an. I think so. Okay, yeah. cool. Right, we have to wrap it up. I feel like it was getting juicy, but funny enough, I think the Dons have got it next. I think Doug's yeah, yeah, got it Dunn's next. Who's got it next? Uh, Doug. I think he's on He's on next. Which one's Doug? The big guy, Lean, lean on the Man. Yeah, lean on that. I don't, I, yeah. I don't know who that is. is so, listen, Donzo, yeah? Again, yeah, yeah, yeah. listen, see, see from us at your fresh is, is thank you for coming on. As I said, without the people, as much as our people talk about our platform, without the people and the teams that engage with us, we're ultimately not nothing, but it, 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 it doesn't work. For the people that are watching, keep viewing our videos, TikTok. We, we created TikTok now. Yeah, we're on You're, all platforms. All, all platforms. platforms. All pla- we're on TikTok. TikTok. Oh we're, we're touching views on TikTok. I'm telling yeah, you, you got yeah. TikTok. No. So, so YouTube is your fresh TV. Um, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, your fresh TV sport. Please keep supporting the movement. Keep subscribing. Keep liking the videos. If you want any promotion, any videos, if you want us to come and do a game, just direct message us. V normally picks up the DMs. We definitely will get back to you. But again, it's um, thank you. Is there anything you guys, you guys want to promote? Or shout out. I think it's any... important. Socials. What's your socials? Um, here for two minutes. Something like that on Twitter. That's what I've got, mate. <laughs> Go on, though, Philip. No. I'm, on, I'm on socials. But what, what, like, what happened? I'm... Then you two have... Did you add one together, no? No, I've time and time. Um, Not for now. Not for now. Not it's for done. Now. Yeah. Don't you want to shout out? Do you know what it is, know it is no. for us with that, yeah? Like, I feel like... I wasn't in the right headspace for it. That's the truth. I'll be honest with you. Like, but do you know I, what it is? I wasn't also, I feel like all for us, it's not like... At that type of thing. There, you know there I mean? was a time I remember Dom was very much on because I remember I'm, I messaged you mm. at one point when you mm. was on this. Right, I want to come on the podcast mm. and view. But then, uh, the whole podcast thing at time. Like, yeah, sweet Dom. Sorry, it, it, I couldn't. It, I couldn't be as honest as I wanted to be. Yeah. You know what I mean? I can't. You know what I mean? You, you get seen as a whistleblower, and yeah. where where am I in my career? 
I still want to. I still do want to play football, and uh, you know, I mean, it, it was, it was the timing wasn't right. It yeah. sounded good in my head, yeah. but I'm twenty. At the time, I was twenty six. What I, man want to do on a podcast is you want to do a Leon Knight thing. Mm. Have you seen yeah, Leon Knight yeah, thing? Leon Knight, man just want to come on a thing and start saying Is that manager. When I see him, I'm gonna bang him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> None of us. We can't do that now. Can't, yeah, we can't do like, that now. You know what I mean? And give it a couple years when the, when you know what I'm saying. Then we can start like telling Leon, the truth yeah. about football. Yeah, Leon Knight's at a different stage career, isn't it? Like you know what I mean. But so. I, I still think it's important for people like you to for people to follow what you lot are doing. I think for you definitely, uh, and all of you, you're following the story and you're following you're on your own journey. So I think it's important to shout out your social media so people can come on that journey with you. I'll be like, honest, my my socials ain't on a. Don Vos, but yeah. it's not really on anything. <laughs> but like. someone might reach out and might want a little bit of advice. You might yeah, take nah, it yeah, off. Yeah, but yeah, I, I think that's yeah, important no, course, for someone yeah. that's been through it. It's important. Yeah, you can shout Just me on uh, anything. Don Vos and literally everything, bro. Yeah, God Ryan Gondo on Twitter. I'm not. I'm not on Instagram. I'm on Instagram, but like, I'm not on it girls. like that. I don't. Hey, I got a missus. You. Hey, no, yeah, Ryan Gondo on um Twitter. Um, just hit me up, man. And Wigs, what was yours? I'm a normal guy. Here for two mins. Here for two mins. Uh, all, all platforms, Twitter and Insta. No, nah, not Insta, just Just, just uh, Twitter. Cool. Your Fresh TV sport on all platforms. Your Fresh TV on YouTube. Again, thank you very much for supporting the movement. Your Fresh TV sports, episode 20. Done. Real V10, all the O underscore coaching, and we're out. Mm-hmm.